Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is actually a take two because of a, of a mistake on my end. I somehow didn't turn on the camera that records the gameplay. <laughs> it's a good thing that I keep backup uh, save files. Like I copy my save files after every certain area or so just so I don't like have to redo the entire game just as I'm... Well, I didn't have to do the entire game, but I mean, just in case so I wouldn't have to do that. Now, you heard that song that you heard playing there. Now, watch. Those are bomb flowers, which you can pick up now with your newly fangled Goron bracelet. And going through here will take you to the Lost Woods. And yeah, that's where that stone structure leads to. I didn't even bother showing it off when I was in the Lost Woods because of the fact that, well... You can't even get through there yet. <laughs> so you can only get th get through that area on the other side, which is where I am right now. That's why I decided to just not even bother. Uh, that pot in the middle, way down at the bottom there, is something that I can do later, but I really don't feel like doing that until I get normal bombs. Because doing it with bomb flowers is really annoying, so I'm just going to leave this area here. Uh, now I'm going to go outside and unlock the entrance to the Dongo's Cavern. Now this is something that's really funny. Keep in mind, the leader had the Goron bracelet, right? Watch and observe, baby. Why couldn't he have done that? Come on, anyone? Can anyone give me a logical explanation for that? Come on, I'm waiting. Okay, anyway, the next thing that you want to do here is I'm going to... Well, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to sequence break. I'm going to backflip off this ledge onto this ledge on top of the Dongo's Cavern, which gives you a... Piece of heart! Woo! Now, I really took a big shortcut there because late, you can't get this until much later on in the game, so that is quite the sequence break. <laughs> now, normally you'd have to get it with this bean right there, that bean hole there or whatnot. Now, remember that I said in the last part I couldn't figure out how to get a heart piece in the graveyard? Well, I looked it up, and let's go back to the graveyard so I can show you how to get it. All right, back at the graveyard here. Let's pull this back. There we go. And fall down the hole. Now, remember, I did play the Sun Song in here before, but I don't know why it didn't work. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot the song. It's... There we go. <laughs> Sorry for that, I just thought I took a pause between parts and whatnot because of the fact that I had to check to see what footage I lost and, you know, through the audio and things. So, yeah, now inside this treasure chest is the piece of heart. Yeah, I knew there was something in here, but I forgot how to get it. Curses! Okay, I got two pieces now out of four to get another heart container. You'll notice that I already got that extra heart container back at the Lost Woods by collecting four pieces of heart. And I already explained how that situation works earlier in the walkthrough, so I don't think I have to explain it again. Anyway, back to Death Mountain we go, and actually, the Dongo's Cavern. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, yes, I am playing back on my original save file, so everything, like all the numbers and stuff like that, should be back on track. <laughs> like, see, I already unlocked this area and got the hurt piece up there on my original save file, so yeah, that's what I had to redo for the walkthrough. No big deal, it was only about five minutes or so. And this is it. Yeah, that's not going to blow up the door, is it? No, that's not. I wanted to have a dramatic, silent opening of the door. <laughs> so let's just do that for realsies this time. There we go, that'll work. Oh boy. And yes, as I said, this is the Master Quest version of the game. So the dungeon layouts will be changed drastically from what you remember in the original game. Uh, I think, though, for now, I'm going to end this. No, well, not end the part. I mean, like, 
uh, end off my current recording session because I don't really have all that much time to record right now. So I'm just going to continue on from here later. If you save in a dungeon, you won't go back to Kokiri Forest when you re restart your game. So consider this like a checkpoint of sorts. All right, let's go in. So... As I was saying, this is the Master Quest version, but not the 3DS Master Quest version. Uh, Navi, why must you interrupt me while I'm talking? I know there's lava. Uh, well, actually, maybe what I should do before I start here is... Oh, I got 11 Skulltula tokens. Maybe I should go upgrade my wallet. Nah, I'll do that later. I'm already here at the dungeon. That doesn't seem very productive then. Anyway, what you want to do is jump across to the center here, if I'm not mistaken. Then you got to take a bomb rock off to one of the sides to blow up a wall, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in, on the 3DS version, the whole place is mirrored. Just saying, oh, uh, there's a chest up there. Bomb up a wall there and there. I'm of a wall there, so wow. <laughs> Let's hope for the best, I guess, and hop. I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I gotta time this a little bit better with those platforms, though, of course. And let's try to go across now for the heck of it. You can walk across the perimeter of this lava down here, so don't worry about that too much. And yeah, just saying, uh, just, I'm gonna take a look around here, there's a business scrub there, <laughs> and see what's up, and hopefully I'll be able to do uh, one of these things smoothly. Okay, let's try it now, and get across, get across, get across! Success! I bet you have to do that with the other two walls as well. What is in here? Oh, it's more suspenseful opening. I bet you it's the dungeon map. I bet you. Yeah, of course it's the dungeon map. <laughs> All right, let's see what other things I can open up with that bomb flower over there. All right, number two, here we go. And I came to the conclusion that I can't get that one over there. The bomb just doesn't last long enough to make it over there, or at least I don't think so, unless there's some trick to it. <laughs> whoa, 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 oh yeah, yeah, these business scrubs. Uh, whenever you deal with them, you have to switch back to sh uh, your Deku shield because of the fact that uh, you won't even be able to, uh, because what'll happen is that they will actually break on the metal Highland shield for whatever reason. Fifteen? For a Deku stick? No way, Jose. Okay, what do you have for me? I'm just checking these guys for the sake of checking everything, basically. Deku seeds? No! Fine, I'm gonna look around some more. There's probably something around here that I missed. Uh, there's a rock down there for whatever reason. Torch there. Well, I can bomb that rock down there, no problem. I think. <laughs> Um, there is another rock on that side. Well, let's see here. Eh! That should... That doesn't make it, does it? No, okay. <laughs> uh, like I said, I haven't played Master Quest for a very long time, and I've only played it once, so... You could very well consider this run here blind, I guess. <laughs> what? This doesn't blow up. You're telling me that doesn't blow up, right? Ah, uh, fine. I'm gonna look around some more. Okay, so they do blow up. Ah, so there's a switch under this one. This was the first one that I tried, actually. And this raises you all the way to the second level already. Very interesting. So uh, there really isn't anything you can do on this first floor here just yet. As I said, there's a treasure chest right there, but that's kind of useless to me at the moment. So I'm just gonna plop myself up all the way to the top with this dealio here. Woo! Second floor first. This is pretty unique, I have to say. <laughs> As I said, this feels the more oh boy! Feels more like a fan-made hack than it does a a real commercial game basically because it seems to 
prey on your knowledge of the original game more than anything. Like, I bet you if you played Master Quest first before the original Ocarina of Time, you would probably have an easier time with it because you wouldn't be confused, so to speak, of where to go. Okay, what does this have to say? Drop bombs in the thingy, yeah. In the, the dongle's eyes, basically. I don't have bombs yet, just... So, I can't do that just yet. What I would do is, I would just drop bombs down these holes into the eyes. But, I can't do that. So, switch. Switch, switch, switch. What does this do? Lights the torch on the first floor and opens the door. Oh, God. That is not a good view of you, Link. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, let's go back down here. Because there clearly wasn't anything else to do up there. Okay, is there was there any torches to light down here? I didn't see any, honestly. Gossip stone. Alright, let's just go to the next room. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any any torches to light whatsoever, so let's go. Bring. And, ooh, the explosive. Bring down the stairway. Oh, God. Stairway room. We got freaking Beemos enemy. One of the more annoying enemies in the game. Why can I never break a crate when I want to break a crate? This this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. So, you... What, what they do is they shoot a beam out of their eye right at you if they see you. So, that's a big, big problem there. <laughs> Just like that. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god, silver rupees? Silver rupees? You, whenever you see silver rupees, they're like super late in the game on the original Ocarina of Time. You have to collect five of them to open something, whether it be a door. Well, actually, it usually is a door. And Deku Babas, probably so I can grind for sticks. I bet you I need to light that torch and come through this door for something. I'll bet you any money here. Song of Time Blocks? I don't even have that yet. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Frickin' Skull Tula's in here. I'm sure it's a gold one, too. Okay, let's, let's check around here. I'm looking for something to, like, blow all these suckers up at once. That would be my preference. I can't pull bomb flowers off the walls, to my knowledge. And there's a silver rupee underneath that freaking Beemos enemy. Uh, to destroy Beemos enemies, you just Z-target them and then throw a bomb at its head and it'll just blow up like so. And you won't have any trouble with it. But oh my god, I can't believe there's silver rupees. <laughs> Wait, was that green? You know, I really should go back and get that upgraded wallet. I mean, take a look at my rupee count right now. It maxes out at 99, so there's going to be some rupee overflow by the end of this dungeon, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, is it is it possible to blow up this whole staircase without blowing up all these bombs? Because I know I have to do like a chain reaction that blows up both sides at one time. So, what if I were to do some something like this? Like, throw it right in the center from this angle? Will this work? Yes, it will! Woohoo! I actually didn't think that would work. Normally, you have to throw a bomb in the center of that, but evidently, to trigger those stairs to slide down or loosen up and slide down or whatever, you don't have to blow up all the bombs in sequential order. Hmm. That is something I did not know. Well, I got two silver rupees now, and we know there's a skull to long other Well, I can't get all the skull to laws in this place anyway without a special song that Whoa, what the I kinda panicked there. <laughs> um So I'm going to take a look see up here carefully and not get squished by the pillar. Did that, did that pillar really try to squish me? No, that would have taken me to a higher level. Oh, uh, uh-oh. I hope I didn't screw up the rupee puzzle. There's probably a rupee up there. There's number three. Anything in this thingy? A rupee? Uh, whoa! Ambush. <laughs> yep. Oh, I was a little bit too late there to whip out my sword. Yeah, there we go. Can I climb this? Yeah, I can climb that. 
Normally there's really no reason to climb that thing. I believe there was a Skulltula in here before, but hmm. Come on, man! <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, that's four. Four? I didn't collect... F oh, I did collect five. It was one on there, two in the crates, and... Uh, actually, three in crates, one on the Beemos enemy, and... Oh, there's just a business scrub up there. Okay, I'm talking really quietly now for no reason whatsoever. Okay, since this door is unlocked, I am going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.